Hogwarts Legacy is literally round the corner. In this video, I'll be covering some things to do and know before the launch of the game that will be beneficial for you to get the most out of Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy is an open world action RPG set in the world first introduced in the Harry Potter books. Hogwarts Legacy is set in the 1800s. Your character is a student at Hogwarts who holds the key to an ancient secret that threatens to tear the wizarding world apart. In Hogwarts Legacy, you'll discover magical beasts, you'll be able to customize your character and craft potions, you'll master spell casting, and you'll upgrade your talents to become the wizard or witch you want to be. So, when will Hogwarts Legacy be available? It'll be available on February the 10th for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and PC. However, it will release later on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on April the 4th, and on July 25th, it'll be available for Nintendo Switch. Hogwarts Legacy will be releasing three versions of the game with different editions. There is one thing to note that all versions will come with the exclusive Onyx Hippogriff mount only if you pre-order the game before general release. So if this is something you want, make sure to get your pre-order secured beforehand. The PlayStation versions across all three editions will receive two more pre-order exclusives, the Felix Felicis Potion Recipe as well as the Haunted Hogsmeade Shop Quest. The second edition in the three is the Deluxe Edition. With this edition, you will get 72 hours early access to the game before general release on the 10th of February. The Deluxe Edition also comes with a Dark Arts pack. This pack includes four items, one being another mount to use, the Festral Mount. You will also receive the Dark Arts Cosmetic Pack, as well as the Digital Deluxe Edition exclusive, the Dark Arts Garrison Hat. Last but not least, you'll get access to the Dark Arts Battle Arena. In the arena, you can test out your skills in magic against Wave of Enemies. It should be noted that there are two more battle arenas that are in the standard version of the game. And you may be asking yourself, what do I get when I complete these battle arenas? Well, from the gameplay showcase that was featured on the Hogwarts channel, when you complete one of these battle arenas, you'll unlock a cosmetic for your character. So free battle arenas, that means free cosmetic items to unlock. Once I have some more information, I'll be sure to post it up on the YouTube. Last but not least is the Collector's Edition that has some pretty cool items inside. So if you get the Collector's Edition, you get an exclusive DLC for the Kelpie robe, which is a green robe that has some kelp animations on it. You also get a still case, but if you get a digital version, you'll just get an empty case. If you get a disc version, obviously you get a disc. Also, you get this life-size floating ancient magic wand and book. Uh, with the book, you get artwork with Hogwarts and Hogsmeade maps inside of it. And on the back, you get like this mage at the front of it. If you plug this book into a power outlet, you get this cool levitation effect. Another thing you can do before the game actually releases is head over to HogwartsLegacy.com. Here, you can actually do a quiz to get sorted into your house before the game releases. You can also do a quiz to get your wand as well. So in order to do this, you're going to have to go onto wizardingworld.com. And over there, you're going to link your account to gain access to these quizzes. And then on your profile, you can link your gaming platforms to receive your rewards on release. By completing these quizzes and linking your socials, you can enjoy exclusive in-game rewards. So you'll get the Fanatic School Robe, which is going to give you these color-coded robes according to your house, as well as a beaked skull mask. So if you head up to the top right and click on your profile now, you'll be able to make your own character in like this little profile picture, as well as get more information about your house, the Patronus you picked, as well as information about the one that was chosen for you. So when you first load up Hogwarts Legacy, you're going to be able to create your character. There's a few presets here that you can get a base off, and then you can go into more detail with choosing a different face shape to customize your character to your liking. You can change the skin color there through the slider for your preference, and then the game goes more in depth by having lots of hairstyles that you can choose from as well as hair colors, which I find pretty cool. You can also change the complexion of your character's face to add some minor marks. You can also add freckles and moles to your character. As you can see below, there's also a scar and markings where you can actually add minor details of scarring or marks on your character's face to give it that more unique feel for you. Once you've completed your character's look, you can change their voice, etc. But you can also select the difficulty of your game. I'm not sure if there's any differences from any rewards that you get from completing it in easy, normal or hard. Um, that's something that we can discover later on. But there is the option there. If you want to play through a more smoother gameplay, you can choose easy and then progress on further on another play after on a hard mode. One thing that was mentioned and requested by a lot of people was Quidditch. 
Quidditch is not coming to Hogwarts Legacy, I'm afraid, but there is Broomflight. Broomflight is more speed and agility compared to Mountain. So with Broomflight, there's a bar on the bottom right of your screen. Think of this bar as like a stamina bar for your broom. So the quicker you go and the higher you go, that bar is going to deplete. And in order to refill it, you have to fly at a lower altitude to refill your bar. Unlike in the Harry Potter series with the Nimbus 2000 and Thunderbolts, broomsticks are still relatively new in the 1800s. So in addition to this, the broomstick shopkeeper in Hogsmeade is working to improve the performance and capabilities of broomsticks, and players can help him in his efforts by completing tasks and getting upgrades. Also confirmed by the developers of Hogwarts Legacy is that there is only one broomstick in the game. However, you can customize your broomstick to be more unique to yourself. As mentioned before, you can buy certain editions of the game to get mounts. However, there is a way you can get a mount without having to buy a special edition or pre-ordering. That's with the Room of Requirement. So you can go out into the wilderness and find beasts and tame them. So if you're lucky enough to come across a winged beast, you can tame them in your Room of Requirement and then tame it to fly. Unlike broomsticks, mounts can reach a greater altitude without any stamina-like punishment. You can see the world in a different view from high in the clouds and take on the amazing scenery. With that being said, there may be areas that cannot be reached by a broomstick and require a mount to reach. Do you think that there could be hidden areas like this for players to find? Furthermore, Hogwarts Legacy has a weather system and season-based environment. So as mentioned in the dev video, there can be NPCs and certain items appearing in different seasons depending on that factor. If you go onto the Hogwarts Legacy website and go to media at the top left and scroll down to the images, the last image is of a dragon. This is not just any old dragon, this is a Hebridean black dragon which is native to Scotland, which is where Hogwarts is set. So will you be able to ride dragons as mounts? They're category 5 on the Ministry of Magic's classification and they're literally quote unquote impossible to train. But I have a theory, so what do you think? The rumor requirement is going to be a powerful thing for you to use and knowing your way around it and how to use certain items in there will benefit you and your character's progression in the game inside the room of requirement there is the vivarium it's located at the back of the room of requirement and you step through it and you enter your own world inside this world you can place decorations trees and you can also train your beasts you can find beasts out in the wilderness if they're sick or corrupted by darkness. You can bring them here and bring them back to full health. And then you can train them. You can play with them. You can do many of things. And this is another aspect of Hogwarts Legacy that's going to be truly outstanding. I think it's going to be really fun to decorate and create this world of your own. So that's it for this video. I'm going to go more in depth on the rumor requirement and other features in Hogwarts Legacy. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more Hogwarts related content. And if you have an answer for any of the questions that are in the video, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to respond to you as quick as I can. My name's Serno and thank you very much for watching. Take care.